What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're still talking about overpowered players. Today, we're in the Ligue 1. And if you appreciate all this goodness, that FIFA material, the grind, the information, the personality, drop a thumbs up. And in the comments, yes, I want to know about the Ligue 1 for you. But I also want to know, what do you want to see for squad builders and different types of ultimate team content on my channel? I'm still working on a lot of tips. I'm working on a lot of tutorials. All that's happening. But I also want to make sure that I am sectioning off or that I'm making videos very heavily dedicated to ultimate team outside of just the tips and the tutorials and that bit of information. A little bit of some mix up. And things that we could do on the live stream anyways. And if you haven't followed on there been streaming heavy on Facebook almost daily I would say but I'm gonna leave links down below if you want to watch me do the weekend league live all the good material or, or bad material everything that's happening throughout that weekend league it'll, it'll be there and we can express it together wait let's backtrack for a second overpowered means for yours truly at this point in time I'm just taking the ratings into consideration 82 or lower otherwise I would definitely talk about a player like Depay or even Gay. Both of those guys are gonna be able to perform for you. Just one's an 84, the other one's an 83. I just wanna throw out that disclaimer. That's the criteria that I'm looking at in this video is an 82 or lower and the price points in the legal are gonna match out pretty well. There's not that many players that are super expensive unless you have top tier Neymar, Mbappe, and even Ben Yedder who based on rating, you would say would be in that overpowered range, but at the moment that I'm making this video, he's like 65,000 coins. So he costs more than some of the most premium of premium players uh, in this year's installment. You can get 87s and 88s cheaper than you could pick up Ben Yedder, especially since he has those French link-ups, that French connection, French. Like my last name, LaBelle. Also, French for the beautiful. I should put that on a shirt, man. Let's talk overpowered players. Honorable mentions. Guys, I just missed out on the top five. Starting out with Mendez, the Brazilian in the midfield, has the skill moves. Kind of a box-to-box -box midfielder. We saw him used a lot last year towards the end of FIFA 19 when he had the introduction of a team of the season foot item. That was pretty special. Didn't get enough credit. Really didn't get talked about enough. Didn't get used and abused with enough. But this is the mini, mini version of that when you're starting out FIFA 20. So you're looking at guys that have good overall stats that are going to be able to give you something right now, right here. Good links in, of course, the French League, but he's also Brazilian. All that goes together. You dig? Diallo. And there are many center backs in the legal that statistically look like they'd be positioned well to fall into that overpowered category. I could list many. And some of that's gonna come down to preference. I think Diallo is someone that we should definitely put into that category a little bit better than some of the other guys that are hovering around the same area or location or rating. But for me, he's gotta be there. And lastly of the honorable mentions, another defender, Munir. We have gotten very accustomed to using Munir. I actually believe that previous installments, he was better suited for the gameplay because he's big, he's physical, and I think they slowed him down a lot in this year's installment, just agility-wise. He doesn't move side to side how other fullbacks do. He's not as swift, he's not as easy with the jockey. If you wanted to play him as a center back, he would be suited very well for that duty, for that job. So put him in a three at the back because he does have that size. Uh, and that presence, and he wouldn't be slow for that position anymore. He would be in the, the correct kind of range. He might even be considered fast for a center back, actually, in FIFA 20. And we know that pace matters. So does that side-to-side -side movement. You can let me know what you guys think about Munir, but he's not going to make the top five for me. At number five, as we're getting the countdown started off right, we have Youssef. And I might have a bit of a bias here. Because I have his inform, and he's in a different position. His stats are boosted a little bit, but I like his movement. I like his agility. I, everything about him works and from my experience when you get an inform there's still a lot of similarities to the baseline foot item and that's not going to be any different here he has what you're looking for if you need a cheap fullback and legal one this guy will do the job you're gonna be unexpectedly impressed we're not stopping the defender trend next to him we got Kempembe who's probably the best of the best when you're looking at center backs that kind of fall into this category of being overpowered PSG rep a lot of green links there Frenchman moves well you can count on him he's gonna be able to recover 
the majority of the time. I mean, there's maybe a couple players that would be able to burn him or, or boost past him. All three of his speed or pace statistics are all over a 70, including agility, which is kind of rare for center backs. So I just wanted to throw that out there. It's going to be noticeable when you're jockeying, when you're moving left, when you're moving right, when you're breaking up plays. Very consistent for a center back, obviously an 82. Not going to burn a hole in your pocket. That's what we're talking about. So I said defenders, right? I talked about defenders a little bit. We're not done. We're not. Looks like we're going for another fullback. We might hit the entire deal here, including the honorable mention. We already have two center backs, a left back and a right back. You can build your overpowered defense for next to nothing in the league on one. This is a fantastic starter league in general. You're not going to have tons of depth. You're not going to have a crazy amount of options at each position. But when you're looking at some of the better overpowered, or even if you just want to take the general best player in this league per position, very competitive. A lot of guys that are able to get the job done. Bernat is going to fall into that category. And there's not that many good left backs in the entirety of the game. Maybe there's seven or eight left backs that are better than Bernat, but even that's kind of debatable. I wasn't a big fan of using Marcelo early in the year. I'm thinking Alba, Sandro, Telles. You got two Mendys. I, I don't know if Benjamin Mendy is better than Bernat. It might be a little more debatable there. Bernat's definitely better going forward, not going to have the same size or physical presence. So that's where it might be hit and miss depending who you ask. What are you looking for? Personal preference, probably gonna come into consideration, but I would pick him up. And he's got the Spanish links. These are quality links. That's what I'm trying to say. These are quality links. And the runner up spot goes to OR, who I've used plenty in competitive games already this year when I was grinding through rivals at the very beginning of the year. Fantastic. He has four star skill moves. He's gonna get up and down the pitch. I've scored goals with him. I've broken up plays. He's played as that even lone holding midfielder. He can get the job done. He's got a bit of some FIFA history of being up to a certain standard if you're going through last year's FIFA installment as a prereq, which I always feel is important. When you're looking at players that are gonna be overpowered or have the potential to be overpowered, do they have history of being in this category? Do they have history of being success stories? And because he's in the legal on one, he's a discount shopper's dream. You don't need to get sales around Thanksgiving or Christmas time. Go get you a Martin's happy days. He's gonna run circles around your opposition. He has 86 stamina as well. He's not gonna get tired, which I think is important. Even though players don't necessarily die out super quickly in FIFA 20, he's still gonna be burning folks towards the end of a match. As players are starting to gradually slow down, he's not gonna be part of that grouping. He's gonna be doing his own thing, sprinting all over the pitch, causing problems, scoring or supplying late goals. Even if you had a different type of squad, this could be your super sub that's gonna come in and make a difference, disrupt everything that's happening on the pitch, change the pace, literally. Thanks again for watching. If you're brand new, it is free to subscribe. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of the League on One choices that I've made? What's your top five looking like? What ultimate team content do you want to see next? And I have a lot more coming out for you ASAP, ASAP.